Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Python program that can calculate velocity, distance and time. So, let's begin. We'll be, we'll be first making or declaring a variable. Declaring a variable means that you, you make Python understand that you're writing a variable. In case you don't know, a variable is stores any kind of a value whether that's a boolean string or number like float or int we'll talk about those in a bit so let's write velocity time or distance so we're making the we're asking the user that whether they want the velocity time or distance to be found so so we write velocity nothing will happen because we're only just asking now, how do we make something happen on this? So, we need to now create a condition. If type equal to equal to velocity. So, this means, so equal to equal to means it's a comparison. So, it compares whether type is the exact same as velocity so if the user writes exactly velocity then it will run through this if now we need to make two more variables so t for time and d for distance t equals to float input give the time okay so why did I put float? What is a float? Float is a kind of a variable type. Kind of data type actually. So float and int handle numbers. So but they are a bit different. So float has things like one point or two point five. So something in with decimals. But you can also write without decimals and it will still take it. And ints, they can take things, only whole numbers like 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or, and so on. So, and then the thing we're using here is a string and that's the thing the input is providing, a string. So, let's say string, string equals to like saying hi in any kind of case and for our last one is boolean boolean is like true or false it can give these kinds of outputs now let's move on d equals to float input give the distance now we need to write elif type equal to equal to distance t equals to float input so this is giving the time and the reason why i add spaces between all of these is so that the number doesn't come directly in front of the colon sign. Now we need to give the speed. So s equals to float. Input. Give the speed. Okay. So now let's see what's the formula for the velocity one and the distance one so the formula for velocity is the distance divided by time so we'll write so remember if you want to write um, if you want to write a line of text that doesn't get counted as code then you just need to write a hash and then you need to write what you want to say in front of it
this is also called the comment so D divided by T okay in this one what will be the thing it will be S times T so S times T and now for the final one which we can say we can keep this one keep this copy it paste it distance time Oops. time time okay so the formula for this one is d divided by s and therefore we need to find d so d so we need to give the time so give the distance distance now how do we solve all of this because now it just asks for the time and distance and keeps them to the variables so what do we do to make it so that it can actually do something so we must input all of these formulas that I've written above into a new variable well you could write it in two ways you could write print and then write the formula like d over t inside it or you could write another variable called total or answer I'll be calling it total and then write d over t make another so we'll be using the same variable so instead of d over t it will be s times t so all of the calculation it does is in there and it isn't very messy code yes so d divided by s right and now we need to do the final thing which because of the total we only need to write a single print saying print total and we should be done now let's check our code for any errors when we run it let's see velocity let's say time 2.5 seconds distance 9 meters okay so let's say it was going at 3.6 meters per second directly towards the ground and you can check this answer for yourself it's correct so now let's try the velocity time will be 2.5 distance 120 48 48 centimeters so now let's try one more of the velocity one so mm, velocity time 3.5 minutes distance 980 meters okay 280 now let's say now we have to say that we are going to find the time but with these same values so 280 is the is the speed so, or so let's ask for time give the distance 980 give the speed that was 280 3.5 now this is the one that we had last time so we are now using the same question to find out multiple values of it to check our program now let's say we want to find distance now give the time time is um 3.5 speed 280 980 now you can check these examples yourself now let's try let's try another questions three questions each so velocity give the time 44 seconds distance 110 2.5 is the velocity now what do we need to do next we need to now find the time say so time 110 and speed 1.5 say now this gives a long number 
You can check this also yourself. It will give the same answer. And now let's try a distance question. Now we need to give the time 44 seconds. Speed 3. 132. So now we can you can check all of these for yourself. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.